Hi everyone, it's Bethany. Welcome back. In this video, we are crafting for fall and I am going to be sharing some really cute items that I found at the Target dollar spot and we're going to craft with those today to bring together some really fun looks for fall. So I'm going to be sharing six little crafts with you today and as always, everything that I'm using will be found linked below in the description box. That way you can shop and add any of the necessary things to your craft room that you need to complete these crafts. Okay, so the first thing I found, if you're not aware of the Target dollar spot, it consists of items that are $1, $3, and $5. And more often than not, I tend to go for the $5 items. It's just, I, it's how it rolls, I guess, for me. So I found this really cute tray. Look at the color. Doesn't that just scream fall? And look at the handles. I am just obsessed with it. So I think this is really cute. Again, this was $5 and we're going to decorate this. Now, before anything else, I'm going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I'm just going to spray down the surface here. Oh, it kind of actually made it, maybe don't do that. <laughs> maybe don't. It kind of made it a little bit, um, I don't know. It like made me want to take the finish off or something. Ooh. Okay. So don't do that to yours. Apparently it does not like the rubbing alcohol. Oh, it's taking the paint off. Okay, don't do that to yours, but this is gonna be fine for me. Good to know. I'll mess up on mine so that you don't mess up on yours. Okay, don't spray yours. Okay, so I found the cutest design. I, I'm so excited to see how this turns out. It was one of those things where I got the cutest design at the perfect time. It is going to just lend perfectly to this project and I think you're gonna love it as well. I'll link it down below. I stumbled upon it and it just, it was a match made in this project heaven. All right, so as we start crafting for fall, oh my goodness, I have to admit fall is one of my favorite, well, I, I might even venture to say my absolute favorite time of year to craft for. I know many people say Christmas is kind of like, their Super Bowl for crafting, but for me, fall time is where I just have a lot of fun. It's my favorite. Okay, so let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite season to craft for? I know that so many people have definite favorites. Another one for me has to be like the springtime, only because I love the soft pastels of springtime. So. I just can't not be inspired that time of year. All right, so surrounding this beautiful Hello Fall is a really pretty kind of wreath, not wreath, more of a frame of kind of fall foliage, if you will. So we've got some leaves and we also have some really cute pumpkins. And I just fell in love with this. I thought that this would look so cute on this tray. And Let's see how this all turns out. So I did decide on a white vinyl because I think the contrast on this beautiful, beautiful green is going to be just too good to be true. It'll look really nice. All right, I'm gonna continue getting everything all weeded out so that we're ready to put this on our pretty tray. Okay, finishing up the last couple pieces here. I think I got everything. Oh, last little insides of these. Okay, isn't this pretty? I just fell in love with this. So I'm going to just clean up all these little pieces. I have a little mess here, but it's a contained mess. There we go, easy peasy. And let's grab some transfer tape. So I have some transfer tape handy here. Just gonna set this right on top so that I can get an accurate measurement for how much I'm going to need. Got my scissors and looks like there. Okay, Get this out. Okay, in order to keep this successful and not overwhelming, what I'm going to do is take my transfer tape, only expose about an inch of it. So I'm gonna pull an inch off and then I'm going to take that backer 
and fold it back. Okay, just like that. And I have about an inch exposed. That backer is going to turn into my handle in just a moment, but let me line up that inch right over my design. Okay, use my backer as a handle, pull and expose the rest of the tape. There it goes. Okay, now let's burnish this down really well. Make sure that that transfer tape meets the vinyl. That way we have a really good connection and we can peel it up off of this cutting sheet and get it right on over to our tray. All right, as always, let's get the back all good to go. Let's see how we did. Okay, there we go. Take my time, make sure I get all of the areas. And there we go. All right, now you can use the parchment paper method if you wish to get this all laid down. I think I'm gonna wing this and let's see, I'm gonna pull it really tight. Okay, I'm gonna let it go in the middle and then out to the ends. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty. I'm just gonna go with my fingers initially and I'll grab my scraper and then really burnish down. I love the white there. I think that is so pretty. I love stuff like this for putting on the ottoman, putting some little TV remotes in. Could also put a candle inside, have it on a side table. Stuff like that is so pretty. Okay, I think I did pretty good. Now I'm going to be gentle with my weeding tool because I don't want to scratch the paint. I've already did a number on the paint today. So remember, this one is not alcohol <laughs> friendly with that rubbing alcohol. But for the reasons I'm using this, it's gonna be just fine. All right, peel that up. And voila, how pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that. Okay, so there is our first little craft. I'm going to take my backer and replace my transfer tape right on it because that's a nice big piece that's still nice and sticky that we can reuse. All right, there we go. Okay, craft number one. I think that looks really, really great. I love how that turned out. I love the color. Let's move on to another fun craft from the Target Dollar Spot. Okay, here is another fun one that I found at the Target Dollar Spot. It is a little Lazy Susan in the shape of a pumpkin. This was $3. How sweet is this? I love it. So I have a cute little vinyl design. Again, everything will be linked below. And I'm going to put a little vinyl on this and dress it up. So I feel like I've used this design before, probably last year, but that is the beauty of SVGs. And I repeatedly say that on my channel because I think it's important to note that, you know, if you find a design that you love, you can absolutely use it over and over. Now you might not want to put the design on your ball cap and then your shirt and your tote bag and wear it all the same day, right? But you can spread it out and, you know, make it really fun. I do that often. And it works well when you're making gifts too, because you can make a variety of fun little things. Okay. Got a little bit overzealous there, but we made it. Okay. Let's go ahead this says hello fall. Now I did not mean that for this to say the exact same thing as the last thing we did. I promise we're not going to put hello fall on everything. I couldn't help but love this though. And, and that's what we're going to go with. In fact, I do have two crafts that we're going to do today that don't have words at all. I like to sprinkle those in because I don't think everything needs to have writing on it. So don't you worry. We're going to do some fun, non wordy, designs as well a little bit later and with glitter iron on which is my favorite during fall got to get the gold glitter out all right last couple little pieces and we are golden how cute is this and I really liked the shape of this I think it's going to do so well with this little lady Susan okay so again a little tiny cleanup here 
that's just the sprinkle of the fall season. I, I love it in every way, on my nails, in my coffee cup, in my craft room, everywhere. Okay, let's see. I think I have another piece of transfer tape that actually will fit. Oh, is this gonna fit? Hmm, you know what I'll do though? Let's do this. I'm going to grab, I have another little extra. I'm gonna show you. If you have not enough, go ahead and layer as much as you can just like so, okay? And then you can take another piece and then just overlap it and it becomes one big piece, okay? That's how you can utilize if you have a bunch of little pieces. Now I probably wouldn't do, you know, a ton of them on one piece, but if you just have a little bit that you need to cover up, just overlap it and it'll become one nice big piece for you. All right, let's see if we can get this turned over. Let's do the back side and place this right down. Now, let's see if this will stay put while I am trying to center this. All right, Get this backer off. And, okay, try to compensate for that little tilt. Oh, how cute. Oh, I love that. Okay, I think that looks golden. We're gonna do it. Okay, and, Oh, if any everything could be on a turntable, how how good would our crafting be? That is just way too cool. All right, let's do a little peel and reveal. Actually, I need to peel from this side so that my transfer tape remains one big piece because of how I layered it. And there we go. How sweet is that? Isn't that nice for a little dining room decor? I think that's super cute. Super simple too. Again, this was $3 from the Target dollar spot. Okay, I found a really pretty canister as well. This was $5. It is a storage tin in cream is how they label it. Isn't that pretty? I love that soft cream color for fall. I think that's really nice. Okay, and actually that's pretty snug on there. So that will be just fine leaving that there. What I will do though is grab rubbing alcohol, clean this off, remove any dust from the store shelves, any oils from my hands. That way our vinyl lays down really nice. Okay, I have it in my little cup cradle there. That way it doesn't roll all the way around my craft desk. And I have a little design here. I decided to do this in black. Originally I was going to do this out of a white vinyl, but I think given the little knob up here, I love how that knob is black. I think it just tied everything in. It's gonna make it look like it just belongs. Plus a little contrast will be wonderful. Okay, let's get this weeded. This is a cute little design as well. I'm a little over enthusiastic there. Okay, I think we should be good. So being careful here trying to get the background weeded. Oh, I say it each and every time, Cricut Vinyl is not my favorite. It is just a mess to work with for me. I don't know, many people like it. But I'm using it up because I have it in my craft room. I don't wanna waste, but I am on the last little bit of this roll and I am excited to have it go away. <laughs> it is just, you saw me weed the first two designs in that Oracle. I mean, you can't get better than that. It's just night and day different. All right. Here is this. Ugh, what a mess. All right, now we'll get it all weeded nice. Get all these little pieces out. So this says Farm Fresh Pumpkins. It's got a cute little arrow and I love it. I think it's gonna be super cute. Very fun for some yummy pumpkin cookies inside. Okay, last little piece, and there is the final look of that design. Isn't that sweet? I think it's really fun, and I think it's really farmhouse looking, so it'll look really nice on this tin. Okay, let's reuse some of that transfer tape that we just used. I don't think I'll need the little extender piece, so I'll take that off and lay this nice, and just so, okay, just about perfect there. Let's get that burnished down and transfer it over to our pretty canister. Okay. 
Okay, definitely taking my time with this vinyl. Doesn't come off as easy. Even though I do the same burnishing, I do the same thing that I do with every vinyl. I burnish the front and back, so this is just a little bit more difficult. Okay, there we go. Whew. Let's get this right in the center and place this right down. Oh, I love that. So pretty, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna start at the center there. Work my, work my way to the left and right. And I'll do the same thing with my scraper and just really get that pressed, pressed down. That should be plenty. And there we go. How pretty. Now I think I'm gonna retire my transfer tape. Do you see how cloudy it is? And it's from when I did that Lazy Susan. Sometimes if you do it on an unfinished wood surface, it really takes on some of the residue from that wood. So it's time to retire that. All right, there is the final look. Isn't that cute? I love how that turned out. Very fun, very simple and easy. And you can dress this up in any way you'd like. Okay, I also found this really, really cute tumbler, as they call it. Very nice, it has a little lid there. They had a variety of sizes. Oh, it's a really nice lid. Thank goodness, that's exactly what a mama needs. Something nice and sturdy there. Especially when it is time to go in the stroller with a yummy, yummy coffee. So I thought this would be really fun for fall. Again, so many colors that you could choose from. Let me grab my rubbing alcohol, get that all sprayed down. And we have a pretty generous curvy surface here. So let's see how we do getting a little vinyl decal on here. All right, move that to the side. Here is my little design that I want to get weeded out and placed on my cup. This is adorable. And oop, I got a little dot to my eye. It needs to stay down right there. Let's see here. There we go. And believe it or not, the little eye in Spice does not have a dot on it. So I didn't miss that, but there we go. It says pumpkin spice weather. Thought that was so adorable. We are among the pumpkin spice season. All right, time to get the little middle pieces out. I love this font. Again, I don't know what this font would be because this is a pre-made design, so I don't have that type of information, but isn't that cute? It's just so flowy and I like the boldness of it too. Okay, there we go. Oh, one more here. Sometimes with these scripty fonts, you gotta be really kind of mindful of looking in all the little areas for any type of little opening to weed out. So it can be hidden sometimes. All right, let's grab some transfer tape and get this on there. Okay, I have quite a piece from another project. So it'll work just fine. Trim that down, use that. Okay, always reuse as much as you can. I've had the same roll of transfer tape for almost two years now, and it, it really helps stretch, you know, your crafty supplies when you can reuse. All right, let's do the back side, and then what I think I'll do is maybe put some little relief cuts in my transfer tape. That way it kind of lays down a little bit easier on this curved surface, because as I mentioned, that's a pretty generous curve we've got going on that tumbler. Okay, so let's get this in here first and foremost. Whoops, I get an idea. Oh, I think that's super cute. I love the contrast. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'm gonna place some little relief cuts all the way around. And this is just gonna help the transfer tape take the curve of this up a little bit easier. Now be careful not to actually trim into your design, but if you just kind of place relief cuts all the way around, it really does help. Okay. All right. So in fact, I might put this here just to 
get a better view. I think about there looks nice. Okay, I'm going to start in the middle and then just work my way to the edge in every little section. So I'm kind of going one word at a time. So I'm going to do this pumpkin and then the spice. Actually, that worked out really nice. Okay, there we go. Let's reinforce that with a little pressure. And because I did some relief cuts in the transfer tape, when I go to remove it, it's probably going to come off in chunks. So this will be a piece that I retire. See how this is going to come off in just little chunks? I'll do my best to <laughs> not have it be that way, but it's probably going to be a little bit messy. Okay. Peel this off. There we go. Oh, that didn't do too bad. Oh, wow. That's cute. And that laid down flawlessly. So do those little relief cuts. It really helps if you are doing a curvy surface. And then I'm just going to line this right on up. And there we go. So cute. How darling is that? I love it. Okay, the next cute little item that I found was this pillow. Isn't this sweet? I love the colors of these stripes. It's just so pretty for fall. So I have this pillow. Let me see how much it cost. It was $5. Just typical Bethany. I always am gravitated towards the most expensive things at the dollar stop, but that's just how it goes. Okay, so I have that little tag cut off. I am going to use a little glitter iron-on, and I actually have two designs here because I'm going to use the other design in a moment for my final craft. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this weeded out just like this. The reason, besides it being gorgeous, but the reason that I like to use a glitter iron-on when decorating pillows is because I feel as if you don't see as many imperfections with the glitter iron-on. And the reason I prefer a glitter when doing pillows is because when you go to press on the pillow, you're not pressing on a flat surface, right? Not like a shirt or, you know, a um, tote bag or something like that where it's completely flat on a mat. You have filling in there, right? You have filling between your surface and then your table. So when you have something like that with a filling, you're not getting a flat press. And if you use just a basic iron-on, it's kind of easier to see, you know, the ripples or any imperfections, but if you use a glitter iron on, you don't see those imperfections if, if there are any. So I just opt for glitter when I can for pillows. Okay. So let me grab my scissors once more. You guys know, well, for those of you who've been crafting with me for a while, you know, it's my favorite pumpkin. I use it every year. I'll link it down below. We're going to use this in the next craft. So I'm going to set that to the side for this craft. We're going to use this pretty leaf. Isn't this gorgeous? This is another one of my favorites. I feel like I used this last year too. It's just tried and true and perfect. All right, let's go ahead and take my mini easy press and I'm going to set it to medium. That is just two of those little wavy lines. Okay, it's orange when it is all preheated to temperature, it will turn green and give a little chime. I'm going to use a lint roller and I'm just going to make sure this surface is nice and clean. And I'm only focusing here in this bottom right because that is where I'm going to put my design. Okay, so now what I'm going to do while this is preheating is I'm just gonna preheat this area. Make sure there's no moisture and make sure it's all ready to go for the iron on. And I'm gonna use my mini because I have such a big bulky surface that it would be hard to use my big heat press. I could use my easy press, but I'm gonna be using my mini. I think it's just as easy. Okay, I'm gonna put this little leaf here. Isn't that pretty? Now I just have to wait for this to preheat. All right, there we go. It's all ready to go. Gave a little chime and it turned green. So now I'm just going to place the heat over my iron on. 
and just move it around so that it comes into contact with each area. This press is intended to be moved and to have movement as you're pressing, so that's why I am just kind of moving around, hovering in certain areas for a minute, then moving on. I kind of hover long enough to really get it tacked down, and then I move on. Glitter iron-on is so easy to apply. I am not a fan of glitter adhesive vinyl. In fact, I don't even use it in my craft room. It's just not my favorite. I find it to be a little difficult, but glitter iron-on, I love it. So when I wanna do something glittery, it's iron-on time. Okay, and then the best thing about the mini is that you you know, can monitor areas that need more heat and then you can do a focus press. Okay. Looks good. I'm gonna go a, bit, a little bit over here on the tip of this little part of the leaf. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn over the pillow and place it on my cold mat and that's going to help draw the heat out. And we want to do that so that we have a cold peel. I'm gonna peel it when it's cooler. I'm just gonna move it to a cold spot again and draw that heat out. Okay, then once it's cool, I can begin, whoopsie, I need some more heat there. Let's see if there's any areas. See, this is great. I'm just gonna peel as much as I can, just so I can monitor and note where I need more heat. Oh my goodness, Bethany. It was only this area. It was only the first part I tested. I might put a little bit more here. That one looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to use, isn't that pretty? Once you reveal that, isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put my liner right back over. You don't want to place your heat on exposed iron-on vinyl. So I'm just using that liner once more. I'm gonna place it right on that area that I need to give some more heat. Just like that. I love that glitter paired with that just really nice basic stripe. I'm just gonna go gently. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it right up here too. So placing my liner here, and then I'm gonna add my heat right on this little tip of the leaf. Oh, that turned out so pretty. And glitter iron-on is gorgeous, right? I'm gonna show you the before and after. But once you peel the liner off, it's a whole new experience. It's so pretty. Can't you see the difference? I mean, it's just kind of subtle. It's still so pretty, but then when you take that off, oh my goodness, it's just gorgeous. All right, so there is our next little craft. Isn't that pretty? I love how that turned out. I love the nice neutral stripe and then paired with a really glittery leaf. I think that just complements each other so nicely. All right, let's move on to our final craft and use a little bit more glitter iron on. This time I'm going to bring in my heat mat and the next item that I found was a little dishcloth and it came in a pack of two. Look how cute this one is. And this is stitched on there. This is not, but this little pumpkin is, is stitched, which is so cute. So this was a set of two dish towels at $5 in that Target dollar spot. I'm gonna take off the tags and I'm going to simply remove the one that I'm not going to decorate. And I'm gonna decorate this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open that up. I'm going to get, oops, actually, you know what I wanna do? Actually, no, I'll do it in this order, that's fine. I need to lint roll it too. But I'm going to grab my press, add my heat just in that area that I want. And then we'll do this. Ooh, that had a lot come off of it. Okay, now I'm going to add my iron-on. I mean, this is pretty, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make up my own rules and I'm gonna make the little design go on this towel and I'll tell you why. I'm just gonna have it be a little reversible towel so you can have it decorated this way, but every once in a while, if you wanted something new and a new look, just switch it around. And I just, I feel like with my home decor, I like this a little bit better. So I am going to do my own thing, right? It's my craft and I wanna end up really liking it. And I think if I put this gold right on this 
beautiful navy blue. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's so me. Okay. I love it. A little bit more of my style. I loved the plaid, but I love this a little bit more. Okay, so why not make a little reversible dish towel? All right, I'm going to place that there. I think that looks pretty. Okay. And then I can apply my heat. A little bit easier this time because we are on a flat surface. So we can go a little bit quicker, not having to go around any curves like we did on the pillow. So I can go nice and quick. Okay. I'm going to give it a little pressure too. Okay, I'm feeling like that's good. I'm going to remove it from my heat mat. And then what I'll do is just once more, turn that over and you can literally feel that heat just come right out. Okay, and I like to place it in a, another cold little spot. And now we're ready to go. Okay, then I can peel. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love that on that blue. That is so pretty. So I just made a little reversible towel. I think that's really, really nice. All right, that was my final little craft. I love how that turned out. All right, there we are. A beautiful little collection of fall crafts that were inspired by the Target Dollar Spot. Really loved how this turned out. I really think that going with the black was the right choice. Again, it really paired the little handle in, and I think that looks really, really nice. Loving the glitter each and every time. Every time, it just turns out so pretty. Get some glitter iron on, it is amazing. And then this turned out so sweet. I love the fun contrast with that nice blue. I think that that wording is so fun and definitely going to put in some yummy pumpkin spice in here once we get a little closer to that pumpkin spice weather. Was really excited about this little Lazy Susan. I think that that is so fun. I really, really like this design. And again, I've used this before. And that is the fun thing about SVGs is you can just use them as many times as you want, put them on different little items and have fun decorating. I think one of the stars of the show for this video was this beautiful tray. I love how that turned out. I think it is so simple yet really, really beautiful. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope this allowed you to just go ahead and view things in a different way when you are shopping in that little dollar spot area. That way you can see some of the potential in some of the items in front of you. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching. I can't wait to continue crafting for fall with you and I'll see you in the next video.